Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more VGM and Dream Daddy. Dream Daddy. Yeah. All right. So we're we're starting it's off. Dragon is gonna be your daddy. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> if Dragon wants to, I mean. What? <laughs> I, I, anyway, I ain't you. nobody's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be one or the other. <laughs> I mean, I don't like children <laughs> making them. On the other hand, <laughs> I was gonna say, freaking, we got, we, we got to do the freaking bayonet a bit. <laughs> At this point, it's got to be a bayonet a bit. <laughs> love that line i'm gonna forever use that from from now on it's just forever going to be a thing <laughs> <laughs> too good it's too good it's it's way too good just like i don't like children making them on the other hand <laughs> speaking of making children we have amanda here adorable cute bean i love her headband for Voice, some reason voiced by another adorable cute bean taco ah uh, hello hello <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get on with this. That was story. your cue to read the line. I I, I figured, but I was like, uh, d d d d d transition, why, brain? No. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> damn you, mental illness! They damn you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, in the dorms right near a bunch of cafes, and they are all these gallery, all these galleries nearby, and there's this discount if you bring your d student ID and. Amanda, slow down. You're gonna choke on your burrito. <laughs> but but the but choking oh, on well? the burrito is half the fun. <laughs> I, I, wish I, I wish someone choked on my burrito. What? Pop has a burrito for later. I mean, what? what? <laughs> Jealous. Jelly. I'd like I know. I'm just excited. Just, did I mention that the students get their own student or studio space once they're seniors, and we get all the professional photo editing software for? Fr you get all that hey, for free? Yo. Oh, fucking this place! Yo, this place bougie. Amanda, you scored. For Ooh. real? I guess that's why the tuition's so high. Probably. Get their own studio space. That that one didn't. That one didn't. That one's okay. It's the fact that you get professional photo editing software for free. For free. This must be back when you actually got the software instead of paying for a fucking license that you had to renew oh, yes. like every month or every year or whatever. Oh yeah. Oh I yeah. Hate, I hate that companies started doing that. Like Microsoft Office. Like you have to pay for a subscription for Office now. Whereas yeah, which it just is used why to no one uses one, it anymore. One and done. <laughs> which is why no one uses it anymore. <laughs> I think I think they did it because they knew they could uh, milk money out of schools because schools need it. Yeah, schools need it, and then I think schools are dropping it. I think they started dropping it, but then again, I'd have to ask my mom about that, so I don't know. I, I don't know, I don't know. What, what they would do, like papers and stuff on. They would need Word, unless you're gonna write papers on Notepad. You're gonna. I think they'll use. I think the easiest way that they could do it is probably through. Uh, through uh what's it called um uh drive google drive because uh, you could technically do it that way it is and since a lot of kids have emails at younger and younger ages now yeah it's it's actually quite feasible which, which is wild to me <laughs> oh absolutely uh, you know that that's a horrible <laughs> time to get let a child make an email oh yeah it you know they're going to make something like cringe that they're going to go up to absolutely dread later on in life oh absolutely but I, my, e my time, email is uh dark lord 69 and they, my... they they grow up they get a job and what's your email address it um it's it's um uh, oh, Dark Lord sixty nine. What? You say that a little bit louder. Uh, Dark Lord sixty nine. They just like 
throw up an eyebrow at you. It's like, look, I was fucking six when I made it. Okay, that's, leave me that's alone. That's that's like literally most of, like I, like everyone that I've ever talked to about emails. They're like, yeah, my email I've had since I was like, freaking a young teen in high school at the very least, and they're just like, yeah, it's not the name for it's not the best. <laughs> See, my yeah, email probably. is kind of long, but it's not cringy. Mine's like, a my little per- cringe. My personal email know... is my name. My mine's a little cringe if you know where it comes from and what it's what it's named after. But if you don't, other people are like what, m- uh, most of the time. Most people mispronounce it, and I'm just like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you don't know. Oh God, you don't I know. Live to see another day. I live to see another day. <laughs> but those who know, like, I've had, what was it, my tax. The guy who does my taxes, he's a good family friend of ours. He knows. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and I went, oh, shit. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> I don't get to see another day. But I get to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA. But I wish she yes. wouldn't do it between bites of her burrito. I thought I taught her how to chew with her mouth closed. Oh gosh, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate my brother. My brother's really bad about not not chewing with his mouth closed, and I'm just like, bro, please. Yeah, I'm going through this really uh, procedure school. The thing, he doesn't. I just just spitting shit all over the place. Like, close your mouth. (laughs) Luckily, he doesn't talk while speaking, but he does chew with his mouth open sometimes. And I'm just like, bro, please stop. I punch him in the side of the head. (laughs) (laughs) Just like, stop, please. (laughs) I I had one buddy is even worse. Like, you could hear him chew with his mouth closed. Like, (laughs) the fuck are you doing in there, buddy? Like, (laughs) Like, and it it was like the lip smacking like no, sound no, no, no. but his mouth was closed it's like how are you doing that it, it, stop it it's, it's, stop it. <laughs> it's disgusting man it's mm, no, nothing well i guess there is one thing that will make me like freaking like tense up faster and worse <laughs> and that's freaking styrofoam i oh. hate it when people are messing around with styrofoam oh 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 I'm doing it now because I'm imagining the sound. (laughs) Just straight up like full body tension. That's a weird weird one, huh? Styrofoam. Yep, styrofoam. You you, you ever had someone like just messing around with it and it's making all these weird squeaky sounds? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is kind of annoying. It's... Yeah, that, that sound, the squeaking noises of it will make me tense up real fast. <laughs> and I'm just like, please now stop. Bully the taco with. No bully the taco. <laughs> <laughs> that one actually makes me physically te- tense up and I like can't untense for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have some laying around here somewhere. <laughs> no. Bully taco, no, no bully the taco. Why, why, why? No bully taco. Anyway, um, <laughs> I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone with similar major, major and in interests. I bet we're gonna be best friends. Best friends. That's actually dope. Right. Because right. I can't imagine college is actually doing that. Um, <laughs> Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. But oh, yeah, don't Craig. even get me started on bad the workout roommates. guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, guy, the dad with the papoose. The papoose is my favorite, though. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating the story about our new foreign exchange student had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. Yeah. Carl oh, ruled. Yes. Uh, yes. Friggin', it reminds me of like friggin when my brother was in college. Like, Ironically, Chad, you know Chad. Um, <laughs> Chad used to yeah. sleep... Chad used to uh, stay, at, stay at their dorm for for unknown... Even though the fact that Chad doesn't a- didn't actually go to college and... Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> he he would be he would live with them basically. They call it despite the fact that. Well, that and they just yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That and they the like yeah it's they they hit it pretty well too but like the fact that he had stayed there for several months. And, and you know, the, got... the thing, too, is you would go through high school and then the teachers would be all like, I won't let you get away with this in college. And they 1,000% oh, will let you get away with it in college. Like, literally, they will you encourage the exact same it thing. in college. Yeah, literally, I'm pretty sure a college professor would take a look at the same shit and go, okay. <laughs> they don't care. They get paid the same either way. I, I don't care if you actually learn the material or not. <laughs> You either yeah, flunk let's, out let's just, or you uh, yeah, yeah. entirely or you take the class again, which is more money in their pocket. They don't care. Exactly. And then there's, yeah, for, we should, yeah, we should probably ask Brian about that. <laughs> <laughs> it still makes me excited. It still makes me so happy that Brian went to class, like he would teach friggin class as Ninja Brian. <laughs> <laughs> That that is my favorite bit of Ninja Brian knowledge that I have. <laughs> Ninja lore. Ninja lore. Anyway. Ooh, they, they let you have animals in the dorms if you get a note saying you you need one. I bet I could forge one. I think I'll get a rabbit or maybe a snake or maybe both. Would the snake eat a rabbit though? Yes. Oh Depends boy. Depends on the snake, but I'll yes. think I'll leave all that up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how big the snake is. Depends on how big the snake is and the type of snake. There are some small snakes that will absolutely 100% try to eat a giant rabbit. They will try. <laughs> they will try. <laughs> She's so excited. I don't want to disappoint her, but I need to be real for a second. So, oh, you we're know, real. Ooh. I had that talk with Mr. Vega. Who will? He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? Well, oh. Which one? Uh, the, the, the dumpster fire? Uh, what, d d d d <laughs> I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need you to knock it out of the park these last few months of school, okay? You really want to go to Horns? We need that scholarship money. I know you can do it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, I was like, I was expecting that kind of an answer. Yeah. I promise I'll try harder. A pat this, on the back. A, this, this is this is where on a pull a freaking yoda would be like do or do not <laughs> do or do not there is no try think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home for the holidays there are going to be some treacherous ice roads to cross you're driving a fucking truck now splurt <laughs> and don't even get me started on <laughs> normal occurrences <laughs> I knew that he was going down that route <laughs> I knew it. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. Oh, my cold, blackened heart has been shattered. That's so <laughs> sweet. My eyes immediately well up with tears. Huh. Oh. oh, Dad, don't don't cry. Sorry. I'm just very, very proud of you. I'm just sentimental. <laughs> you're you're all grown song. up now, and you're such a good person. And I hope you know how important you are to me. Sorry, I was singing a song from my current play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sentimental. I wish I could play it for you, but, but I'd have to find it and it'd take too long. Um, Dad, you're gonna make me cry too. I feel that actually. <laughs> it's too late, honey. It's happening. Beautiful. Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna make me taste sad. <laughs> True story. It's gonna make it taste sad. <laughs> this burrito tastes sad. I think somebody cried in it. Dude, I don't blame them if they cry. Like, I don't blame if, like, yeah. If, if a dude cried in my burrito, I'd be like, okay, you want the burrito? <laughs> like that one episode of Adventure Time where Jake's making like the perfect sandwich and it's like, tears for salt. Tears for salt. <laughs> 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 oh, 
The funny Soul thing is that of lobster. If I don't, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that. Anyway, sorry. Because um, <laughs> I was like, I need to verify that information before I spread it. <laughs> uh, don't want to be going spread misinformation now. Yes, only misin only the most in misinformation of information that can be spreaded. <laughs> I pull Amanda in for a hug and a kiss on the forehead. I was, I was, oh yeah, what I was saying uh, about you, the kiddo. tears in the burrito. What I was saying about the tears in the burrito is, uh, I wouldn't mind if a dude would, had cried in my burrito because let's face it, working fast food sucks. <laughs> 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 it just sucks. If I ended up with tears in my fast food burrito, I wouldn't mind because let's face it, it sucks. If I had to work <laughs> no fast food again, I'd probably there. cry too. Say, if I had to go back that way, if I had to do those kinds of jobs again, holy fuck! I, uh, I can't. I I literally can't. I can't. Oh, I can't like, even. Either, despite like totally. Like, like, what is it? They make more money than I currently do right now. Simply, well, by hour anyway. They make like 20 bucks an hour starting now for like fast food places. Holy crap. Maybe I will yeah. work fast food again. <laughs> I've, I've considered it because I make like 14 an hour for my current job. The only difference is the fact that I actually work 40 hours a week. Uh, well, yeah. That, that's why I end up actually making more money than they do because I work 40 hours a week and they probably don't unless they're like freaking insane. Um, <laughs> um, so as much as I have considered it though, despite the fact that I'm like, yeah, ultimately came down to the fact that I was like, I, I can't do it. I, I can't do it. I would physically die. <laughs> I would physically and mentally die. <laughs> I cannot do it. I cannot go back to doing that. Even though I never did it. I did dishwashing once. And... I did actually, that's not true. I did work for Domino's a little bit as a cashier at one point. Uh, I hated it. I hated it to uh, death. I worked for McDonald's. I was the first cook. I, I had, I, I thought I was doing okay at one point and then, and then I got hit with a really big problem because a guy's credit card wouldn't pay for the whole fucking meal for some fucking reason. Mm. It would only be like, oh yeah, we're just going to add $2 or like $3 to like, like it was only like half the meal at most that it would pay for it. And I'm just like, but why? <laughs> and then I accidentally like it, it got into a huge mess and I had to have the manager f come and fix it Ugh. it made me feel so bad that's weird it is, ultimate, it is ultimately why I just can't do it I can't do cast register shit it's also why I have a great amount of anxiety for freaking uh, facing people in kinds of jobs like that now too uh, yeah. So much anxiety. It's not funny. I have to try to avoid confrontation. It, it's, it's, it's awful, and I hated it. And oh, I yeah. can't do it. I can't do it. It's the worst. It's probably, it's probably led to a lot of problems, because I was a very... I was, like, yeah, there's towards the end of high school still when this happened, but, like, freaking... I was still in high school. <laughs> I was still young. It's, I hated it. Anyway. Anyways, back to Amanda. And her love of her pops. <laughs> love you too, pops. Aw, <laughs> oh, that was Welcome. the end of the thing. You got that. Treat better people better oh, than that. they treat you. Oof. Oof, these oh. advices. Oof. Dad book. We're back to dad book. We and are back Craig to sent a message. Hey, hey buddy. So, yeah. so I have a favor to ask. Robert invited me over for dinner. I know it's kind of a faux pas to invite another bro, but... I've known the guy for years, and I still can't get a good read on him. And I know it's going to be super awkward if I go by myself. Will you please come with me? I love food. I especially yes. love food that's free. <laughs> don't we all love food? And I don't know why you're so sweaty over cooking, but sure. Yeah, dude, I'm down. I would be. Ta Taco would spread over food because Taco doesn't know what to make. He would spread <laughs> over food? It was <laughs> <laughs> sweat over oh, cooking. Oh, yeah. I mean. 
Thank yeah. you! I really hope that's a sweat of relief. Eat that dinner! Mmm, <laughs> I love that answer. Eat that dinner! <laughs> I like food, especially free food. Don't we all? <laughs> yeah. Don't we all love free food? <laughs> How, how'd you get an introvert out? It's like, extroverts, you don't have to try. This... <laughs> you don't really have to try to get an introvert to go out to places. It's called free food. Yeah. That's all you need. <laughs> right, if I'm eating fat, I'll go just about anywhere. <laughs> Same. I may hate people. I may hate, hate them with a real passion. But free food. God damn it, I will... <laughs> <laughs> I will, that doesn't uh, sound yeah. too bad. I could definitely go for free food. But why is Craig being so apprehensive? Does he know something about Robert that I don't? I hurry up and by the way, I forgot before to my dad timer, brain can work itself into a paranoia spiral. That's, that's fine. I can, uh... uh I got it. <laughs> Craig and I decide yeah, to meet up before yeah. heading over to Robert's I can, place. I can, I can be ready for the next one. Sorry. Sorry, chat. Uh, <laughs> sorry, YouTube. And all you lovelies. <laughs> Craig's waiting on my porch. A bottle of white wine in hand. Bro. What? What's with the wine? <laughs> Splurt! Boy, am I glad to see you. I forgot Likewise, man. Named Splurt. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Classy of you to Every bring wine. Every time. <laughs> nice. Classy. <laughs> Classy wine. Splurt McGirt. Splurt McGirt. I forget it every time. No, it's not wine. It's sparkling apple cider. Robert literally has a wine cellar, so I think he's good. Oh, yeah, Robert, the uh, guy that totally looks like an ninja bride. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> or at least I think he has a wine cellar. I'm generally unsure if he was telling the truth or not. I can never tell with him. Thank Welcome God it's to... not just me. I never know. Nice. Welcome to military types. It's just hard to tell. <laughs> just roll with it. You just, you just roll with it. That, that, that's my tip. You just roll with it. Just just roll with it. <laughs> He's so deadpan about everything. I usually just laugh it off, but man, that guy's an enigma. We start walking over to Robert's house. I mean, there's a reason for that. Most veterans do. He, he's Yeah, he's putting that uh, veteran stereotype. He. All right. <laughs> Does Robert even know how to cook? I have sincere oh, doubts yeah, 100%. about whether he even knows how to shave properly or iron his shirts. I feel like you learned to cook after you learned those two first. Hey. Uh, hold on. <laughs> One time I saw I him grab a hot rose. dog from a trash can. Hell yes. Trash can <laughs> hot dog, baby. <laughs> it's got all the I extra mean, flavor. I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. There's a, ma there's a large amount of food that's thrown away that is actually still perfectly good. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, like, it was at the very top of it? the trash can, like sitting above it. But still, if we were on a, if we were on trial, I think the jury would define that as in the trash. In his defense, yes. I've definitely considered grabbing food off the top of the trash before. <laughs> I'm gonna be absolutely 100% honest with you. Like freaking, like I, I've watched survival guys go like. Oh yeah, an urban environment. If you freaking find food in a trash can, unless it's like visibly contaminated, fucking go for it, dude. <laughs> food, food is a luxury item, <laughs> right? If you find food, I mean, if you're out and you're in <laughs> like a survival, survival situation. situation, yeah, like eat what you can eat, and don't be picky. Eat what you got. Don't try not to be picky if you can. Yeah. Like they're they're. There are some situations where, like, obviously, like, it's visibly contaminated and you sh definitely know you shouldn't yeah. eat it. To don't oh, that, eat it to, that's like, not forget. exactly being Otherwise, picky. That's being smart. <laughs> that's just being like, smart. Obviously, yeah. don't f eat rancid food. Don't eat rancid food. Don't eat stuff that's fucking, like, freaking visibly decomposing and shit. It has mold and all that crap. Unless it's cheese. Cheese is a different story, but we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah cheese, yeah, cheese, cheese you can just mold. shave off the mold and it's fine. Yeah, you just shave off the mold. In fact, that's actually what some old age cheese is, is that they would let it just sit and get super moldy, and then they cut off, they will cut off the freaking uh, mold and then sell yeah. the rest of the cheese. Blue cheese. <laughs> yep. Anyway. Well, yeah, I think we've all considered it, but the difference is that Robert actually did it. 
true. Something tells me. Yeah, again, Robert probably has has lived off it for a while at one point. <laughs> Maybe he's the enlightened one. Maybe we're holding ourselves back. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a thought process. <laughs> we arrive at Robert's house and ring the doorbell, but the doorbell won't chime. Yeah, it's mm. probably one of those. Must ones. be broken. Or either that, or he, either that, or he, uh, fucking disconnected it like a smart person. <laughs> Frank knocks on the door a few times. Something tells me uh, Robert must have worked as like probably as a combat engineer at this rate with how much shit he's he's uh, jerry rigged <laughs> maybe. possibly maybe since we, when we, does I robert have yet. a dog does robert have a dog i don't know oh, dear. that's weird i can hear robert just inside he's probably one, sec had one. one second oh this is uncharted one. territory splurt what if he's the one make barking noises and there is no dog don't say that we're not even inside yet. <laughs> I would find that absolutely hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. I might start doing that myself, actually, now. <laughs> Just start barking with people and ring the doorbell. Finally, That'd the door so opens. Funny. Robert looks a little surprised to see me. Hey. Spurt. Didn't know you'd be tagging along. Oh. Did Greg well, not yeah. tell Robert I was coming? Come on, Craig. Come on, Craig. I can leave if there's not. Oh. No, it's fine. Come on in. Come on in, uh, Goku. Wait. What? I'm not Goku. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Did you think that? <laughs> we enter Robert's living room, which is surprisingly really nice. Super messy, <laughs> but still nice. Yeah, that feels about right. Hey, you got the the records on the wall. Uh, vinyl collection there on the wall. Uh, I was like. Uh, like this, he's this got a little arrangement of uh, succulents here. Plenty like of that. alcohol. Do you notice the? Yeah, I was like, lo notice the freaking stand behind Craig there. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> alcohol of nice every big kind. screen TV. <laughs> Australian I mean, apparently with two boomerangs on the wall. The, veterans do get paid quite well these days, so yeah, I'd expect. I guess Dude, I gotta it's... change Robert to an Australian voice now. <laughs> he got the boomerang. He might be. Who knows? He might just be gruff anyway. So, <laughs> but still Wait. nice. It's right. still pretty nice. He he did. Yeah, I'd bet he would leave his laundry all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Make yourselves at home, mate. Yeah, actually, yeah. You know <laughs> what? I I feel that vibe. I feel that vibe. <laughs> Just switch to an Australian accent halfway through the game. <laughs> that too. Forget. I was actually talking about like make yourself at home. I was like, you know what? There really is nothing that makes you feel more at home than dirty laundry, all over the place. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I, I right. can't fault him on that. He's got a point. <laughs> anyway, we can still hear barking from the other room. I didn't know you have a dog, Robert. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It just walks off. <laughs> and then it just walks away. And you're just like, what? <laughs> That's Betsy. I have to put her up when guests are over. She'll calm down in a bit. Hmm. What kind of dog is she? Hmm. Pitbull. Rescued her from a dog fighting ring a few years back. She hates strangers. If I let her. <laughs> Fuck! Ah. The voice is well, hard. That's nice of him. If I let her out His right now, I would probably have to take you both to the ER. Hmm. He's got a point. Craig and I make eye contact. That's, he raises an eyebrow him, at me. Oh. I, I believe him on that one. Okay. That, that's not something he would lie about. <laughs> yeah. That, he's not pulling your leg on that one. I am positive yeah, on that. Yeah, Pitbull rescued from a fighting ring yeah she's probably pretty mean not her Especially, fault though like, she was raised not... to be that way poor thing yep poor thing like it is rarely good that he rescued her from that so yeah big respect. anyways big respect to robert on that one big respect man i mean i've made respect for him too just just in general so <laughs> anyways anyways dinner should be ready in a minute Hope you guys like Oso Bucko. 
whatever the fuck that is. I'm pretty sure we mispronounced it, but, you know, we'll get comments later about it, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure there'll be plenty of comments. And, but we'll find out what it is next time on VGM. How did I know that next time on, this was next time on VGM time? How did, <laughs> I, how did I know? We've been doing it for almost a year now. It, it, it's second nature. Get Yay. used to the getting used to it. Yay. Let's see. See you guys next time on VGM, everybody. Bye. Bye.